Well, on the show, we've shown you how Amazon and other tech companies really get those parcels to you sooner, faster, and in a more efficient way. And now, while all of that global coverage has been interesting, we're here in the heart of Hyderabad with a very special guest and a special announcement on Tech Today. Sarah Rhodes, what a pleasure to have you with us on the show. Thank you so much for having us today. We're delighted that you're here with us. And there's so much we want to touch upon in this interview. But lo and behold, behind us, we have an aircraft. Did you fly this here, Sarah? I did not personally fly it here today. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what was the, the rationale to bring this to India in 2023, Sarah? Well, great question. Uh, first of all, a big goal that we as a company have is taking care of our customers. And we start with our customer and work backwards from our customer. And our customers love fast service. So to help ensure that fast service, what better way to do that than adding aircraft to the network uh, at a time when it's, when it's most needed. Sarah, you have uh, an incredible amount and treasure trove of ops experience, aviation experience, and then military experience as well as a fighter pilot in the US Navy. I have a lot of questions there as well. <laughs> but from your learnings with, with all of that experience, when you're talking about this sort of an aircraft, just getting a little geeky out there, Boeing 737s, 800s, is this the ideal way to perhaps be uh, you know, delivering parcels across the country? Uh, for India, yes. Uh, we find that this is the right, what we call, gauge of aircraft for the number of parcels that we would expect to fly. Uh, in general, these aircraft can handle about 20,000 packages per flight. Right. So the 737-800 are very reliable aircraft, and uh, we're looking forward to using them within India. Sarah, but what's interesting is that you know, we have all sorts of fulfillment centers. We've visited uh, same-day delivery centers in the U.S. as well. This seems to be a little bit of a game changer, and I feel like now you don't have to rely on other courier companies because this is literally Amazon putting their planes in the air. How do you guys determine what kind of parcels would go in this particular aircraft as opposed to a traditional form of delivery? Is it some particular items? Because I know when we were in the US looking at some of your drone deliveries, there were particular parcels based on the size of the drone. What's the, the entire you know, rationale with the Prime Air aircraft? Typically, it'll be the more unique items that our customers order because for the more common items, we usually have those items placed near our customers. And so they can typically be delivered to our customers via ground transportation. But because we don't have every single item in every fulfillment center that we have, in order to get an item to a prime customer within two days, we would typically need to put it onto an aircraft. So really that's the intent of these aircraft is to help move some of that unique inventory and still get it to our customers uh, within two days. Interesting, you started the prime air fleet literally from scratch a few years ago and you have several aircraft, millions of dollars invested in the US. I'd imagine it's not a one-size-fits-all approach when you're coming to a market like India. When you're expanding this Prime Air program, how do you tailor make that strategy for different geographies? Yes, well, that's a great question, but actually a similar approach that we've taken across all of our geographies is that, you know, that crawl, walk, run approach that I mentioned. Like, we'll start small, actually. Even in the US, we did start small. We kind of experimented a little bit, figured some things out, saw how it worked and then we went from there and so same, same similar approach in India is we'll start with two aircraft we'll work some things out and see how it goes from there so we want to make sure that uh, we're making the right investments at the right time starting with two in India is, is the right uh, the right pace. Sarah you've had a fascinating journey like I said as a, a trained military pilot who served missions all across the world and, and then that transition to Amazon. What was that journey like? And I want to understand from you what the learnings from that previous life of yours uh, have really been like and how have they helped with your Amazon stint? Well, uh, when I joined Amazon, I didn't join thinking we would be building out a global air haul network. I'm glad it worked out that way uh, because I'm able to use some of those translatable skills that I brought with me uh, from the military and apply them to what we're doing now. Um, however, I think in general, moving from the military to Amazon, it's really uh, having that leadership experience, um, operations experience. So no matter if we're working with aircraft or not, using those skills that, that many are taught in the military and applying them to our Amazon operations, that's really probably, the, um, probably what I brought to the table most early on. And then later, as we built out our air haul network, having that aviation experience, being able to speak the aviation language, knowing uh, all sorts of aviation safety aspects, that all, that all came into play as well. I can imagine a very stern 
approach as well from the military. A lot of discipline for the team at Prime Air. I'll say that people are very passionate and meticulous about what they do. So, <laughs> When we're looking at what's happening in the tech world at large, it is a tech winter, so to speak, when the eye of the storm, when it comes to you know, people getting laid off in the tech world. Now, now that you've been here on this side of the fence, how do you see the next few, few months spanning out? How can we really weather the storm in the tech community? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm still really excited about the future. Uh, you know, companies are always kind of reassessing uh, what, what programs should be invested, maybe some areas that need to be adjusted. And so there's still all sorts of potential and opportunity out there globally. And, uh, and I'm really excited about that. And I think today's launch here in India is just an indicator. We heard from the India team earlier, and they said that we're not going to shy away from expansion plans and investment. Is there a sort of a blueprint or a roadmap, so to speak? numbers would be would be welcome. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate that. But like I said, we want to make sure we do this right. And so we want to start with two aircraft. It's probably a little too premature to, to commit to any certain number into right. the future. Uh, frankly, you know, we we've, have grown uh, globally very fast in a short period of time. But we've uh, we've done it in the right way, though. And we want to make sure that we maintain that uh, that, that approach. Okay, we're going to geek out in the last question and you're just going to tell us a little bit more about the aircraft because there's a lot of aviation geeks that watch the show as well. Right. What's this Boeing C737 all about? Has it been customized in, in any particular way from your experience? Well, this is a converted uh, Boeing, Boeing 737-800. So this is a former passenger aircraft that's been converted to uh, cargo. Uh, it, like I mentioned, will carry about 20,000 packages or has about 800, 185 cubic meters of capacity for the the aviation geeks out there, so to speak. Uh, it has a really great history of reliability, uh, which is another great reason we went with the 737-800. Uh, you can see the winglets on the aircraft as well. That adds about 4% fuel efficiency. Right. Uh, so that's a good thing uh, from a, um, you know, a, a fuel efficiency perspective. So yeah, those are some, some basics, and uh, there'll be two of these in the network. Big plans, big aircrafts. Thank you so much, Sarah, for joining us on Tech Today. And we hope the next time we meet, maybe it's in one of these aircrafts. You never know. Thanks so much for having me. Thank Appreciate you so it. much. Yeah.